everyone, Smart Beauties. I'm Rebecca Spira. With any new makeup tool, there's always a bit of a learning curve. So I'm going to share some tricks with you so that you can have a flawless finish no matter whether you have a Blend Smart 1, a 2, or any color. Did you ever feel like when you're applying your makeup with your Blend Smart, it's just not blending and you feel like you've got a lot of product and it's just moving around in the same place? Well, here's my first pro tip. Less product is more. I call it one pump beauty because one pump of product should cover your entire face. So cut back on what you're using and you're saving money too. My next tip is don't forget your jawline and neck. Nobody likes a makeup line, especially if it's drastic, because no foundation color matches our skin perfectly. So make sure you take your Blend Smart and go right down along the jawline and down the neck and blend it right into your skin and you will have a fabulous finish. Now, if you want a dewy look, or say you have more mature skin and you just really want a natural finish, two tips for you. One, you can dampen your brush with just a little bit of water, and also a drop or two of facial oil before you apply your foundation will really give your skin a beautiful finish. So I'm just gonna add one pump of product because less is more, remember, and just take a look at how gorgeous this looks in your skin. See that? Up and down, left and right, and it just makes it a little bit lighter on your skin. Really, really beautiful, and you're going to have that glow that you've always wanted. Have you ever felt like you put entirely too much blush and contour on and you really don't want to go out of the house looking like this? Well, the Blend Smart will blend it for you and turn this into a beautiful sight. So here's my Blend Smart, and I'm gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm gonna go left and right, and it's gonna blend right in. It might take a couple of times, but your Blend Smart will fix your makeup mistakes. Just take a look at this, that fast. Here's another quick tip. If you like to use a powder foundation and you want a fuller coverage, use the blush brush because it's a little bit more dense. Make sure to tap it in while it's off so you don't make a big mess and then tap the product right off because you don't want too much. And then use this to blend your makeup and it is going to do such a fantastic job. It'll give you so much more coverage than the regular powder brush and I absolutely love the finish it'll give your skin. I hope you loved these pro tips. Happy blending.